Luke chapter 7, verses 44 to 48. Then, turning toward the woman, he said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I entered your house, you gave me no water for my feet, but she has wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but from the time I came in, she has not ceased to kiss my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore I tell you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But he who is forgiven little, loves little. And he said to her, Your sins are forgiven. Recognizing our sin is always the first step in our walk with God. Realizing that life that we have been given, we have been living for all the wrong reasons, that we have sinned against our Maker, our Creator, and seeing how this sin has completely and forever changed our relationship with God is the first step in our walk with God. It always is. Why? Because seeing the magnitude of our sin is how we can recognize then the magnitude of God's grace. Our sin illuminates God's grace. Yes, our sin does not cover or darken or weaken God's grace. It magnifies God's grace. Because though we have sinned greatly against our Maker, He still forgives. Because though we have forsaken Him for our own agendas and our own luxuries, He is still faithful. He is steadfast. He is gracious and merciful. God, help us to see that our sins are many that our sins are deep, that our sins were incurable until you forgave us. Then help us, God, to trust in this new reality that you have given to us. Just as the woman in the passage, help us to recognize the greatness of your grace and mercy to fall down in worship and adoration of who you are and what you have done. Amen.